You want to come inside when it's not home? Well, then who's that? Get in the back. Get in the back. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, cancel the Uber. My fiance's here. He made it after all. Hey. Hey. Hey, thanks for coming. Yeah. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah. You look a little frazzled. All good. Nothing to worry about. Okay, good. I don't want to be late to my wedding dress appointment. <laughs> I gotta get that squeaky engine noise looked at. <laughs> <laughs> so, your fiancé picked this out for you. Which one do you want to try on first? Uh... I think I'd like to try that one. A suit? Are you trying to embarrass me? No, no, absolutely not. I already picked out the dresses for you to choose from. I'll just go with this one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, Silas, I love Mona's new dress. Hey, now. <laughs> But it is true. I love how it highlights your best features. Glad you noticed it, Mom. I picked it out myself, actually. Good job, sweetheart. I also picked out her wedding dress. I just think it's important that my bride look her best, you know? That is so true. You know, your father felt the same about our wedding. Ooh. <laughs> She's like a living Barbie doll in my collection. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Sorry, I'm so late. Kinsey, so glad you could join us. Yeah. Well, what kind of best friend and maid of honor would I be if I didn't show up for this special moment? Stop rubbing your feet. These are classy people. And for heaven's sake, smile. My feet are killing me. You know I hate wearing heels. Forget about your feet. Silas and his parents like a woman in heels. Put them back on. <sighs> oh, what do you think you're doing, kid? I'm so sorry about the inconvenience, sir. Uh, it's training week. I'll take full responsibility. Is someone gonna take our order soon? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, right now. Hello. Hi. Uh -huh. Ladies first. Um, I'll have the fettuccine Alfredo with garlic bread and save some room for dessert. Nice. That is quite the meal before uh, a wedding day. We're gonna have to squeeze her into that wedding dress with a crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> And she'll have a garden salad with a locale vinaigrette on the side, oh, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi. I like your keychain. Thanks. It represents one of my favorite poems. Two roads diverged in the yellow wood, and sorry I couldn't travel to both. Well, if you're done with your limerick, the rest of us are gonna have the fettuccine Alfredo, if that's okay with everyone. Sounds wonderful, Jack. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Why are you talking to the help? And where did you learn all that Dr. Seuss stuff? <laughs> <laughs> it's not Dr. Seuss. It's Robert Frost. And you know how much I love poetry. You never told me about that, no? I've told you so many times how I was thinking about taking a poetry class and publishing a book of my own poems. Poetry? <laughs> that's silly. That's, that's a good one. That's good. <laughs> You're such a hoot. <laughs> Always kidding. <laughs> you know how they are oh, when they're this oh, yeah. age. Woohoo! <laughs> no, Mona's dream is to be a great wife and to make a home for Silas. And our future family. That's my little Barbie girl. <clears throat> um, if you'll excuse me, I think I forgot to wash my hands. So, huh. how was Dubai? Yes, I understand, but this is my mother. I know that you're doing the best you can, and I... 
gotta go. Thanks. Bye. Everything okay? Yeah, sorry you had to hear that. It's, it's just, well, I'm in a, an emotional and financial bind is all. Wanna talk about it? Yeah, it's just my mom. I mean, she's in the Northwest Hospital really sick. You know, they say that she needs to have surgery, and I somehow got to come up with 10 grand. And I just don't know how I'm going to do that, though. And if I don't figure it out soon and fast, then she's... <clears throat> I don't normally open up to anybody like this. A lot better at just writing it down in my journal. Wow. Same. Whenever I feel something, I... I brought that energy into my poems. Anyway, I, I'm really sorry about your mom. Thanks. She's a sweetheart of a woman. And she adopted me when I was 10. Right when I lost all hope. And I thought I'll never be part of a family. I don't know where I would be if it wasn't for her. <laughs> family I have. My mom is the only family I have, too. She struggled raising me by herself, but she did the best she could. I'm so sorry. I, I, um, I didn't even ask. Are, are you okay? I know you said you writing your journal and... I'm fine. I just needed some air. And more importantly, to get away from my future in-laws. Talk about it? I mean, I did just give you my entire life story. Okay. Well, my fiance is a bit controlling, and with his parents, I think makes them three of a kind. None of them like me for who I am. My fiance wants me to be someone else, and it's not even someone I'd even like. It's not my place to ask, but why are you marrying this guy if you can't be yourself? My true love is about the freedom that you have to be who you are and who you want to be. This doesn't sound like love. It sounds like jail. It's complicated. Lots of inspiration from my journal, though. <laughs> yeah? <clears throat> In a house of gold, she stands alone. A heart that aches, a heart of stone. Promised riches, a life so grand, yet in her chest, an empty hand. That's powerful. Thanks. Honestly, I've never let anyone read my poetry before. My mom doesn't want me to pursue writing, and my in-laws and my fiance think it's just some silly hobby. Say it's a waste of wife time. Sucks. I also know what it's like to not be able to follow your dreams. And all I wanted to do was go to culinary school. Opened up my own restaurant. I mean, I had to ideas for everything from the door to the dessert menu. Why don't you do it? Well, just one little problem. Money. Yeah, if I can't even help my mom, then I definitely can't be paying for school either. Shoot. Gotta go. They're missing me at dinner. My mom doesn't want me to come off as inappropriate. Um, it was really good talking to you, uh... Adrian. My name's Adrian. It was good talking to you, too. Kind of wish that, uh, I would have met you a few years ago. I'm Mona. And 
I'll write a poem about an alternative lifetime. Oh, I forgot your glass slippers, Cinderella. If I had the guts, I'd throw these in the trash and walk in there barefoot. <laughs> oh, hey. Um, you have a real gift with your poetry. Don't waste it. Our lives are really gonna change once you marry the son of a millionaire. Oh, how they'll change. <laughs> hmm. Hey, Moon June Gloom. Stop wasting your time rhyming words. The wedding's a few days away. We can't risk you messing this up for us. You know, ever since Silas and his family have moved here, you inserted yourself into their lives and made me into someone I'm not. If I can't be myself, then I'm not going through with this marriage. What? I have spent a lot of time and a lot of effort molding you into the perfect trophy wife to snag you a rich husband. You are not gonna throw away my hard work, baby girl. But mom, I don't love Silas. And you said if I find someone I love, then I can marry him. Yes, but you're not in love. We made a deal that if you weren't married by now, then you would marry the guy that I chose. And lucky for both of us, you have no one. So I chose Rich. Do you know what it was like for me? I was a single mother at 17. And your father, he was scared, so he hightailed it. I struggled to raise you all by myself. And his wedding is how you're going to pay me back for that struggle. I can't live here any longer. It's, it's not fitting. And, and this marriage is going to give us both a better life. So tomorrow, you're going to pick up that dress. I've been looking at some places in West Hills and Wood Ranch with my realtor friend. I have a Botox appointment to win back some of my stolen youth. And I'm getting my teeth fixed. I am so ready for that good life. And you can't mess that up. Do you understand me? I smell something good, Adrian. <coughs> Did you bring me some more of your delicious food? Yeah, I brought you some homemade soup. There's lots of vegetables in there that'll make you really strong. I'm supposed to tell you to eat your vegetables. <laughs> free trial that I submitted for? Unfortunately, they denied her. She's too old to qualify. So the only option we have left is the operation, which you know is... Duck, okay, I'm gonna figure out the payment, all right? Go figure it out. I'm here to pick up my wedding dress. Oh, your dress is already in the fitting room. Oh. Your fiancé and his assistant are back there. Assistant? Oh, Kinsey. Baby, I wish Mona looked half as good as you in this dress. Well, then maybe, baby, it should be me in this dress. I wish. But you know, Mona's the perfect trophy wife, and she doesn't complain or talk back because her mom's so desperate. I just have to marry you. Mona, 
What are you doing here? I'm here to pick up the dresses. I'm taking care of them. I see you taking care of things. With Kenzie, I don't need your dress anymore. The wedding's off. No, you're not walking out on this wedding. It would humiliate me and ruin my family's reputation. Do you know how much money my parents have spent on this wedding? Everything has been placed as it should be. That's a you problem. No, that's a you problem. If you don't want your mom to disown you. Yeah, she's counting on this wedding happening. You're getting married to me within the next five days, whether you want to or not. She won't disown me. Not if I get married before then. See, we had a deal. If I find someone I love, I get to marry them. And until this wedding actually happens, I still have a chance. You can't marry someone who's already married. You're gonna get married to someone else within the next five days? <laughs> Good luck with that. Even if you met somebody within the next hour, you still couldn't get married before our wedding day. I'll show you. Never liked that wedding dress anyways. You dressed me in diamonds, draped me in gold, thinking I'd forget the truth you sold. But I'm no fool. I see the cracks. Your pretty words, your vicious acts. Even if you met somebody within the next hour, you still couldn't get married before our wedding day. Hey, can I ask you something? Are you married? Adrian. Oh no. What are you doing here? I just left from seeing my mom. <sighs> okay, look, I have a proposition for you. I'm in a jam, a mess of a jam. Will you marry me? Like today? Some kind of joke? <laughs> no. And to prove to you how serious I am, I'll give you my engagement ring. 15 grand, easy. Well, okay, okay. Um, so let me get this straight. You want me to marry you? And I'll pay you. Look, it's the only way I'm able to break free from my fiance and not ruin things with my mom. We can get a divorce after. Please. Mona, uh, marriage isn't some type of transaction. Okay, it should be special. Under normal circumstances, I'd agree. But right now, I don't have time. Okay. Think of how special 15K could be. 10 for your mom's operation, five for culinary school. Please say yes. Okay, you said it yourself. You have to figure something out for your mom's operation, right? Well. Have you? No. Then please, do this deal with me. Save your mom. Save me. Okay. But on one condition. When this is done, you write a poem about it. Okay, yes. Deal. 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 You think I don't track your location? Stop playing games and let's go back to the car. Okay, hey, hey. Get your filthy hands off of my future wife. You gotta be kidding me. You're gonna downgrade and marry what? A waiter? I'd rather marry a waiter in a heartbeat than a rich cheater. Let's go, Adrian. I gotta say, getting married to you earlier at the courthouse for sure beats some fancy wedding with a guy I hate and wearing some dress I don't even want to wear. So what did you want to wear? Pants. <laughs> like, dress pants, jeans, sweats even, anything pants. I just wore dresses to make Silas happy. 
Thank you for helping me today. Yeah. I'm gonna go in and grab some stuff before Silas gets home. What's going on? We should ask you that. Yes, Mona. What is going on? You can't just cancel the wedding. Not this wedding. Think about all the money that we've spent. <sighs> the guests that have flown in for oh. it. Oh, our friends. Oh, we will be humiliated. Well, if Silence had it cheated on me with Kinsey, this wouldn't be a problem. Don't put the blame on me. Oh, honey, that's just what they do. They're men. They cheat. Come here. After all I've done for you, I insist that you sacrifice for your family. It's the least you can do. It's more than that. I'm not going to spend my life being miserable, pretending to be someone I'm not. Besides, it's too late. I'm already married. What? what? To Adrian. No. Uh, no. Hello, everyone. I'm, I'm Adrian. I was your server the other day. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is this a joke? You are going to get so tired of a sweaty restaurant busboy, you will come running back to my son in no time. He can't take care of you. Well, I'm sorry I'm not like you, Talia. I'm perfectly able to take care of myself. Wow. Don't bother taking any of your stuff. I paid for it all. It's mine. Have you lost your mind? Did you see what this is? Is it guy in here? It's not much, but it's clean. Take the couch. I love your books. And be one traveler long I stood. And looked down one as far as I could. It's a good book. <sighs> Sorry, this is all we have until we... It's been a long day. Yeah. Yeah, we could just talk in the morning. I'll be out your hair as soon as I can. It's no problem. I mean, you're technically my wife now, so you legally could stay as long as you want. I know you didn't have to wear those heels to breakfast, right? Until I get some new shoes, these are gonna have to do. <laughs> Thank you for taking me to breakfast. I hope you're not spending too much on me. No, no, no. Well, this is basically free. Yeah, the owner's a real nice guy. He owns multiple restaurants and, uh... Sorry, I gotta take this. This is the hospital. And you need to take this for your mom. No, I can't a take A deal's that. a deal. And trust me, I don't want a ring from that man. I don't care how big it is. I'd rather a small diamond rather than a 20 carat if it came from him. Damn, I want you to know how guilty I feel about this. But also, thank you so much. Ah, uh, yes. Sorry things didn't work out. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, no, no, sir. Uh, it's not what it seems. Right, this money is actually going to go to good use. It's not for my mom. It's cool. If you ever find love again, we have many other options to choose from even smaller diamonds. Hey! Uh, do I know you? Sorry, wrong guy. I'm sorry, but a deal's a deal, Mom. And don't you see how miserable I'd be with him? This new guy is no different. They're all the same. At least with Silas, we can live comfortably. Adrian's not like that. Yes, he is. Adrian? Mm-hmm. Who's he with? 
His girlfriend. We told you, honey. All men cheat. It's their nature. Adrian's not like that. It has to be a logical explanation. The explanation is right there. He's already taken the money for the engagement ring. He's gonna go run away with his girlfriend. And you're gonna have no one. And we're back to where we started. Now, what I'm proposing is simple. My family will give your mother a certified tax-free check for a million dollars. And in exchange, my lawyer can annul your little busboy marriage just in time for us to get married, for real. I won't believe anything until I speak to him. No, no. This happens now, or the deal's off. Oh no! Adrian, they just showed me a photo of you. Some girl hugging me? Yeah, I'm sure they did. Yeah, but look, he set me up. Okay, I saw him driving away in the parking lot. What? That's a lie. He has a girlfriend he's been hiding. He's no different than I am. No, I, I don't know who she was. Okay, and I can't prove to you what I'm saying is true. But See? See? They're all liars. At least marry the rich one. But what I can do is at least tell you how I feel. <sighs> feel. Um, I can't explain it, but from the moment I saw you, my heart has carried this secret, just waiting for the right moment to unfold. And now I can no longer hold it in. Okay, Mona, I love you. And not because of some agreement, but it's just how I truly feel about you. You've woven yourself into the fabric of my being. And with every thought, every breath, my love for you grows deeper. Okay, you are the light of my life, the song of my poem. And I cannot imagine a world without you in it. Okay, now these two might be right. Okay, I might not ever be rich. Okay, that I probably can't give you, but what I can give you is my heart. Okay, and I promise you I'll never betray you or hurt our trust or, or try to make you do or be what you're not because... True love gives you freedom to be who you are. That's right. And if you want to wear pants to our <laughs> wedding, our real wedding, I love that. And if I'm being honest with you, I never believed in love at first sight. But that's just because I've never seen you before. So... Mona Lee Johnson, will you marry me? You call that a ring? I can barely see it, Mona. This is not what you want. What I want is someone who loves me for me. And Adrian's the only person who's done that. So, yes, yes. I will marry you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Ma. Would like to introduce you to Mona, <laughs> the one who actually paid for the operation you're about to have. When I was telling you about the other night. Now I know that this may seem a little fast, but we are actually engaged to be married. <laughs> Again. Yeah. <laughs> Long story, don't ask. Don't worry, Adrian. I know how that is. I knew when I first met you, you were my son. Just like you knew Mona was your wife. My son tells me you're a very talented writer. That's what he says. I have no idea. I've never read it to anyone before, but Adrian's given me some confidence. So... Perhaps one day I can read it out loud to you. I would love that very much. Are you okay? Summer? Do you really want to do this with me? Stay married and support each other? Like I've never been more sure of anything in my life. How will we survive? Even the money you have for culinary school is now... Like I've been keeping a secret from you. Okay, my boss let me cook for him last week. 
and he is willing to pay my tuition to go to culinary school so I could be a chef at his restaurant when I graduate. <sighs> he said I'm someone he wants to invest into. And so do I. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Mona and Adrian start their new life together, both living as their true selves and chasing their dreams. And over time, things start working out. Mona begins performing her poetry in front of small crowds. Which eventually turns into large crowds People really love Mona's work. And Adrian ended up graduating from culinary school with honors. His boss was true to his word and invested in Adrian, giving him his own restaurant to run as head chef. While Mona and Adrian's life were on the up and up, Silas's life on the other hand was a different story. He got married to Kenzie, but cheated on her too and lost everything in the divorce. Thank you so much, thank you. Could I get a copy signed to a very apologetic mother? I'm sorry for being so selfish. I was angry at your dad for leaving. I didn't think that love could be real, but you and Adrian proved me wrong. I thought I was doing what was best for us, but I was only thinking of me. It's clear that you are doing just fine with your life decisions. Thank you for saying that. Do you really want a copy of my book? I know you weren't a fan of my poetry before. I would love one. Now that you're doing so well, perhaps you could pay for my procedures. You can't be serious. After all this time, you come here to ask me for money. Sweetheart, now that the line has gone down, we should probably get out of here. We're, we're gonna be late for the restaurant opening. Yeah. Adrian, are you here? Since we never had an official wedding, I wanted to surprise you. Oh my God. Adrian, I'm not even, I'm not even dressed. It's fine, I told you you could wear pants to our wedding. And you look perfect just because you're dressed like yourself, so? I want to thank you for taking the road less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. 